Well, it's here 2024, and as we enter a new year, many people are kicking off their resolutions to help keep them healthier. One of the most important resolutions involves your heart health. And Dr. Eric Griggs joins us with some heart healthy resolutions today to help get you started. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, so one of the things you say is physical, getting physical, which yeah. for everyone could mean it's something different, right? So what do, you, what do you emphasize first? So, you know, I like to say get checked, get fit, get moving. It's really as simple as going to get a checkup. Tell yourself you're going to get a physical this year. Just You have a whole year starting now till next year. Go get a physical, get a checkup, get your basic numbers, your blood work, your cholesterol, your uh, hemoglobin A1C, and your basic, basic numbers so you can know your numbers. And for some people who, some viewers may say, I don't have insurance, I don't have a doctor. What do you say to those folks? So there are things, like I might know a guy, there are uh, uh, federally qualified health centers. Uh, I'm at Access Health. There are places that you can go. Uh, if you can't afford it, there's a sliding scale and there are ways to work with you. Uh, there is really no excuse not to know your numbers and be healthy. Okay. And the other thing you resolve, everyone resolves to do more things that keeps them active, but it's so hard to keep that up. So how do you start at a realistic goal? So keep it up throughout the year. Funny you should bring that up. Uh, the most realistic thing we can do living in New Orleans is put off our New Year's resolutions until after Mardi Gras. <laughs> That's true. Or, or forgive ourselves enough when we mess up right. to go back at it again until we really start for, for Mardi Gras. But again, it's all about grace and forgiving yourself. If you mess up today, it's okay. Try again. This is, it's, 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 we have 365 days to get it right. And when you say move, 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 I mean, some people may think automatically I got to join a gym, but think about th the other things you can do on a daily basis. Is it really true that just work walking 15 to 20 minutes a day? 15 to 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. Listen, finding the things that you like to do and doing it, remembering what you did. We didn't have gym memberships when we were kids. We would right. just go out and play. We would cut the grass. We would garden. Anything that requires you to move. Parking, it I know it's, it sounds cliche, but literally parking further away from the grocery store door and walking, taking those extra steps, all of it counts. But the most important thing is finding something you like to do and do it and find a friend and take a walk and decompress. So if you like to play tennis, if you like to, what's a new, uh, not bad. Oh, uh, pickleball. Pickleball, you know, just <laughs> something, something that you really enjoy. So that means you're more likely to continue doing it, right? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, you know, I, I playing ball in college I said I'd never lift another weight but I will play a sport I will go out and walk and I'll, I'll, I'll learn pickleball something fun right just fun. to keep you moving so that saying is if you don't use it you lose it right and everything starts feeling stiff let's talk about heart healthy diet which is kind of hard because we're going into king cake season <laughs> right <laughs> it is very hard because we're going to king cake season again go easy on yourself Go to your doctor. If you're on medication, make sure you're taking your medication, but eat healthy foods. Healthy foods are the ones that spoil, the ones that are around the circumference of the grocery store, uh, your fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, fresh meats. Again, when I say spoil, if you leave them in the sun in the kitchen and you come back in the house, smells, then that's fresh food. You should eat it before it, it does that. Like we were just talking about in Europe, fresh food. Right, right, eat it before the box stuff. Uh, and lastly, how important is sleep in terms of for stress, reducing stress, and just staying overall healthy. It is imperative, and it's one of the things that I think we all do poorly with. Seven to nine hours is the recommended uh, uh, number of hours of sleep that we should get, and the only time that happened last night for me was right. New Year's Eve. That was okay, right. <laughs> right, right. But again, emphasizing sleep, working on sleep hygiene, turning off the television, leaving the bedroom for sleep, uh, blacking out, closing out your, your windows, staying away, leaving your phone in another room. Coming up with a sleep routine is imperative. Yeah, because that really is a key to everything that happens to your body for the rest of the day. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Thank you so much, Dr. Greg's Happy New Year. Thank you. Thanks Happy for coming in. Appreciate it. So the Pelicans are starting.